I'm Chris from Mirror Windows, and hey, you can do this. Because this is Air Windows K Cathedral 2. So here's the deal. I've been trying to get together reverbs that people can use whether or not they can afford a uh, $4,000 rack unit to do great reverbs with. And I've been learning a lot over the, what has it been, years since I've been grinding away at this? Certainly many, many months. And uh, my initial attempt, well, it sounded more like this. So people kind of questioned that a little bit. They were like, well, you were trying to make it sound like this. This is the real Bacosti. So that's a real Bacosti. That's what the reverb tail sounds like that. However, K Cathedral, some people liked it anyway, but it did that. And when I dug into it a little bit, I had to admit, yeah, that's, you know, that's not exactly the same. There were many things I was trying to do. For instance, my reference stuff had to um, have a dry signal mixed in because I wasn't fully understanding the brightness in the Bracosti. Like, for example, here is K Cathedral, the original. But it was trying to do this. This is the real Bracosti. Now, hear all that highs up there? Turns out that's not actually dry. That's a bunch of early reflection stuff. And I can't say as I was that happy with it, but that was what was there. This is a recording of a genuine Bracosti reverb, Bracosti M7. And seeing as I had it to play with, if I was doing this with it, Well, points for effort, but I mean, if you wanted to try to make it instead do this. You'd have to put a little more effort into it. And so I did. That last was, in fact, K Cathedral 2. Again, back to our Bracosti. Bracosti reverb has a dense sort of early reflection stuff that comes across as sort of bright air around things. And this is full wet, but it sounds just like there's a little bit of dry in there because the early reflections are fairly strong. At the time that I did K Cathedral, I wasn't doing that great at being able to encompass that. But the new version, I ended up sneaking uh, a patch from clear coat into there just to do the duty of early reflections in a way that was more spread out because I felt like listening to the Bracosti more critically, I wasn't entirely happy with what the brights, what the early reflection sounded like. Back over to Bracosti. And this is, in fact, the Bracosti reverb. And we switch over to K Cathedral 2. And the depth sounds kind of similar. And we do still have brights in there. But I feel like those brights are sounding more like the, the first reflections you would get out of a cathedral rather than sounding like reflections that you get out of like a smaller room overlaid onto the big reverb. Again, back over to Bracosti and we'll go back and forth. Bracosti. K Cathedral.
Bracosti. K Cathedral. There's still brights there. I just don't want it to be... I don't want the early reflections to come across that way. And then lastly, a final hit on Bracosti. And K Cathedral. And just for laughs, the original K Cathedral. So let's not keep that one, shall we? If that's what you want, you can still use it. The way that I do stuff, I don't take previous things away, even if they are, well, usually if they're broken, um, there'll be some kind of fix, but they have to be pretty broken. Because here's the thing, people are able to use stuff sometimes, even if it's not doing what you'd want on the end result of the sound. And that's very much what I ran into here. I ran into a situation where people were finding use for like a drum sound like this. Sounds, I, it was called metallic, compare them. Previous, new. Previous, new. And Brokosti. It's been a lot of work to get this together, honestly. And there's nothing wrong with that. Thankfully, I'm able to do this work because uh, rather than selling this stuff through stores or on the internet or whatever, um, I do a Patreon. And w what Patreon means is... I can weather a initial release of, say, a reverb that's meant to do the job of a Rakasti and then fails catastrophically. My month is not dependent upon that one having come out perfectly. I find people just kind of shrug and move on if it's not doing what they wanted. And Patreon means I can keep going after this stuff. In fact, it's the reason I was able to get the Rakasti in the first place to uh, do that work with it. And once I've done enough, so I did have to go back in and um, re-examine things. And that's one thing that you might or might not have heard as a difference because these are drum tracks rather than test tones. I went back into the Bracosti and ran some test tones through it. In fact, I ran analog test tones through it because they came off of a oscillator on the modular synthesizer. So the the testing that I did was running test tones and guitar sounds into the real Brocosti in all the same patches that I studied to see whether there was any modulation. Because the feeling that I was getting was that uh, it's Casey, Casey from Brocosti has various opinions about doing reverbs. And I don't know all of them, but I've paid attention plus, combined with the listening and trying to study what is being done there. I know one of the things is he's not the biggest All Pass fan, but I do think there's a bunch of that uh, still showing up. And so I've been trying to do like um, K Cathedral, no All Passes at all. It's just a giant householder matrix. It's just a giant five by five. And as a result, that's part of where the metallic sound comes from. I think Bracosti has a lot more all passes, which makes it more of a blurry cloud of sound. But that's also, all passes are not a realistic sound. We talked about this with Cloud Coat. And you can compare Clear Coat to Cloud Coat and hear that being the only change. Well, one thing I was able to do is go into K Cathedral 2. And you can probably hear some of that because as is my way for reverbs, I'm throwing it on the video as well. I went in and took the smallest uh, delay 
in K Cathedral 2 and changed just that one, one delay on each side, to an all pass. So basically what it's doing is it's gradually bleeding in a little bit of cloudiness as it goes. And I also threw in a modulation. And I know Casey does not get into modulating his, I believe his take on realistic reverbs is um, realistic spaces don't pitch bend audio. And so he doesn't like to either. And so the original K Cathedral also has literally no modulation, literally no pitch bend at all. If you run a test tone through it, it settles down to a perfectly fixed sound as if it is a single other wave and nothing is happening. When I did that with a analog test tone into the Bricasti, I wouldn't say that it really entirely settled down completely. I feel like it kind of kept modulating, but in this very subtle way, just this drift, giving it just a hint of space there. And so I threw one modulation that did a uh, slight pitch change modulating across um, two samples back and forth very, very slowly on the same delay tap that I had turned into a all pass. It's a very high, it's a, a 11 uh, delay time. And once I threw that in and dialed it in, I felt like I was able to get a comparable modulation on a pure test tone going in. And for the plugin, I was able to do a literal digitally generated, um, completely artificial test tone. No variance, no drift, absolutely nothing. Whereas with the Bricasti, I was giving it a realistic uh, analog oscillator, but I wasn't modulating the pitch on that at all. And yeah, this is what we got to. I started out here. And now it does this. To mimic a Bricasti $4,000 reverb, which does this. Mine. Bricasti. Mine. So that's, that's some good work. That's some good work there. And I hope that you really enjoy it. I have been keeping good and busy. If you watch my uh, day long um, live streams, you'll see some of the stuff that I've been working on. During the week, I may actually release uh, the video game I've been working on and move on to another one because I feel like that's gotten somewhere. That's not going to take a place of a plugin because by now I have got a bit of a backlog. And so there's other plugins I would also like to share. There's one that I'm going to be using on this video, which is called Final Clip. And the reason that exists is because I needed to do something that would run 80 Clip 2 or the nearest equivalent on a Final Cut Pro because if I clip on Final Cut Pro, it clips 6 dB down. And that's not something I find useful. However, I did throw in something where it also does a slew clip and starts using lots of golden ratio for everything. And well, I just got creative with it one day. And then I turned around and included that in a new version of AD Clip 8. But You'll have to wait on that one for just a little bit longer. And then it will melt your brain. That's the one where it has additional modes beyond clip only and matched gain, such as explode or apocalypse or apotheosis. And you'll see. But for now, I hope you enjoy K Cathedral 2. Bye-bye.